folks. Welcome. It's a real pleasure to be here today with the next generation. Of, uh, of biotech entrepreneurs. Today, we have food investors and innovators who are inspiring a health revolution. The healthcare industry, with all due respect, was designed to take care of people when they were sick in an episodic way. And we just don't think that that is the right way to go, especially in the 21st century. We've talked a lot about the technology that we have available to us. Um, it's Star Wars stuff, actually. And, you know, I also think we have to be careful because we're delivering, perhaps, Star Wars solutions into the Flintstones healthcare system. <laughs> a flaw in a single device shut down Hollywood Presbyterian, so we've got a very serious situation. It's amazing still how many people are so uneducated about the use of cannabis, and it's not just THC or CBD. There's 72 other cannabinoids that have a ton of other medicinal benefits that people aren't even touching. The most dangerous myth right now on this planet is that real men and real women can only get their protein from meat. No way can a few little immunizations overwhelm your immune system. In the next five to ten years, the, the biggest conversation around health is how do we maintain a truly healthy gut because it's our microbiome that is our immune system and we're only as strong as our immune system. The cancer moonshot generated a great deal of momentum and there's new hope for those who face this terrible disease. I only have one regret not running. I would have liked to have been the president to preside over the end of cancer as we know it. For every 1% reduction in cancer mortality, there's an accrued value to society of over $500 billion. So many of our abilities to take the, that kind of science and translate it into things that matter are going to require these kinds of convergences of completely new kinds of teams. Suzanne, what's your prescription? Uh, my prescription is for collaboration. We gotta turn the tables and take responsibility and get control of a food system that's got control of us. The primary determinant of your health is you. Not to blame, but to empower. You know, our genes are not our fate. We can make different choices. And the healthy choice is ultimately the most pleasurable choice. And that's really what makes it sustainable. Thank you for being with us today, and please thank the panel.